Central University of Lebanon. Thank you very much for all the presentations. I have two short questions. The first one to Mr. Borch, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce the name, but I would have a question on cooperation actually in prevention because preparedness and response are somehow like two second and third step. What about, what about prevention of accidents in all the fields that you mentioned? Is it, is it in place between Norway and Russia? And then to other panelists, uh, but it also refers to earlier panel, with regard to present a uh, huge drop in, global, uh, in oil, oil prices, uh, in terms of relations between Norway and, and Russia, is it actually, um, does it bring cooperation on those issues rather to stalemate when it comes to oil and gas exploration, or it's rather additional boost for working on this even, even closer? Thank you very much. Well, when it comes to uh, uh, avoiding accidents, it's, uh, it's a very important uh, question. And uh, so far, there have not been not been too many rules about this. Um, the admiral of the U.S. Coast Guard said yesterday that he was not sleeping uh, at night because no uh, one of the coast uh, one of the cruise ship uh, companies had started to travel the northern, and not to notice the northwestern passage, you know. And that means that, well, the government institutions like the U.S. Coast Guard do not have the sanctions necessary to think about the safety management issues. Uh, the Polar Code will do something about this, and that will take a uh, start from the 2006 message or something. But it's a minimum code from a, a minimum convention that is being negotiated. So, in my opinion, the Arctic countries and not least Norway and Russia should cooperate on building more tailor-made uh, rules and regulations for safety management issues and increasing the capacities uh, when it comes to the industry. The oil and gas industry is working on this, and the Arctic explorer cruise operators are working on this. But the governments should take a lead in, uh, in uh, building a higher level of safety management. Are you satisfied with the answer? Yes. I think we give you an A. You can get an A. <laughs> and other questions? <coughs> okay. Yes. Uh, I just had a, a question for Igor Shevchuk about his presentation. I thought it was very interesting to think about how conflict could be avoided by trying to use information technology to widen the circle of who gets to know and who gets to play in reducing conflict from resources. And I wondered if there were any pilot projects or examples that were particularly promising of this or if it was a new idea. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, we are now only in the beginning of our way towards uh, conflict resolution in this way, but what we really think is that uh, this e-communication platform really allows us to, to work more, more uh, efficiently in, in that direction. Why this e-communication system is important? It, this is because uh, we, we, we will try to, to interconnect different actors from different parts of the world and uh, di different sectors uh, such as uh, academia and uh, real uh, regional uh, development uh, decision makers and by uh, making them working together and exchanging experience. This is the core thing and uh, that's why and this e-communication platform is the best solution in our, in our view to, to allow them to cooperate together. Thank you. Um, Thank you to the panel. Um.